this video, you'll get a word-by-word -word description for your Lavu profile, which makes 30% of the girls text you first. Hey, it's Dave from Premium Life, and a lot of my friends ask me, hey man, what do you put in your profile that makes the girls text you without you even texting them first? But don't worry, I got you. From our girls dating program, I'm gonna tell you all the secrets of what I put in my profile that makes the women text me first. The key is the profile description about yourself, all right? So here's a bad example. 29 years old, attorney, born and raised in New York, funny, knowledgeable, genuine, intelligent, honest, caring, easygoing, quietly ambitious, adventurous, romantic, and loyal. I consider myself a really nice guy, okay? Nobody's gonna message you back and say, oh, you're so loyal doesn't happen. So here's an example of a better profile description. I am 29 years young. I'm boring. I'm not funny. I'm not intelligent. I'm not romantic. I'm not loyal. I'm not a nice guy. This is a great example of being different, standing out from everybody else. But now we're going to really tell you what the magic pill is. So check this out. Two words and a devil emoji face. Another mistake. And look at the response another mistake why mistake a mistake honest mistake oh how why are you having mistakes another mistake oh man i tell you it's awesome but this is not the pill though watch this hey nice disclaimer that's quite a list you have on your page excellent someone else who publicly discriminates against people with requirements while i perfectly agree with you statement i have to ask like these people are making up stories just off a of description. They're all in their own world. But I did study. I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not. Just thought I'd start out on positive. Ah, oh, what? No. Harsh. You don't enjoy. Smiley face. Smiley face. Laugh. You don't like? Why not? Why wouldn't you match with me? <laughs> Why not? I dare to ask. What's wrong with, hey, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? So what's wrong with you? Or is it a long story? I mean, these people are making a story off of just the description profile that we have. I mean, this is, it's, it's unbelievable. These women really are interested. Now I know you're curious on what in the world did I put in my profile description to make these women ask me and, and want me and, and, just want to know who I was and where I was and how I was doing. So you can download the exact words that I wrote on my profile from our girls dating program, which you can find in the description down below. Do you see? gentlemen I've, i'm finally able to figure out um basically how to actually change the swing and like who gets where and all this other stuff so i changed the age from the number to a string so that you'll be able to actually see which age is out there so that you'll be able to measure like what user there how much user out there actually on the lovo app and then how many followers are actually basically there um at that point so what I want to do, um, I want to try and see if I can get like another dashboard that discusses activity by age in this so I can try and dig a little bit further on what's really going on when it comes um, to these Lobo streets. So now we can really get going. So we want to try and focus on the age count, see how many people are basically within the age group that's there. If I'm not mistaken, we have um, a bunch of them that's actually shown there. And this is all the counts that you see right there. I'm going to try to make this F. Um, let me try to manipulate the A's that's actually there and measure it. Um, trying to get this out. It's got to be continuous for sure. If we can. down and see what this thing counts or this thing age is there and now what I want to do I want to find a number of users to see why oh boy it's so 
the same thing. Very interesting. I don't know why we have this problem. You gotta set it up through dimension rather than measuring in order to actually get the full count in order to get the followers that we need. So we're gonna label this here. This is gonna be straightforward. Alright. Lovo total number of users by age. We got that down. And now we need to see in the percentages um, on who want dates and all this other stuff now we can actually try to work this out and we're gonna set up um, a new work um, basically like a new worksheet on this so that we get like a story knocked out so we got a new worksheet down we're gonna do the same thing it's going to be dimension again right one of the dimensions out there and then we're gonna see the percentage of the chats that's shown So this is the dimension that we see on the percentage. So if we change it to a measure with the sum, right? This is a simple graph that we can definitely get as well. So we have so many options, but what we want to do is we can do the bars or we can get percentage chats, dates, as well as friends as well. This is what they basically would want. And this is what they would have basically shown. And we could do side by side comparison to try and make it a little bit easier on what goes on by the age. So that's a lot um, more sensible to basically do. So we're going to do the same stuff and we're going to actually um, put all of that on the dashboard so that we'll be able to knock all of this out, which should be literally less than a good couple of minutes here. So let me go rename this again, all right? So we got the logo. out of the way so we have a good idea of how we want to present it now we're going to do another worksheet and knock this out um and we're gonna do this time we are going to want to follow this is the average this is the percentages um this is we want the total followers of all of these guys here but we're going to start with the means first and see Mean followers, mean kisses received. We're gonna rechange it by dimension again. And now we got all the stuff that's down. And we got mean kisses that's known. Again, mean kisses received. Knock all that stuff out, and we want to make sure we get them all stacked up there and see all the graphs that's actually basically known. The stack bars will definitely not work because, again, an average Joe that may not even know that much about grass and everything like that that's not fully as advanced is not going to fully make sense of all of this so we want to try and make sure we get all these comparisons known so that we have all the information that's actually there so we want to try and look at um, mean values by age we'll definitely mean that and mean activity by age that's what we want is the mean activity by age so we're all gonna put this in one graph as well. And we're gonna do the same thing with the box of the whisk and the 
box as well. But the box and wood supplies, it's not even going to be worth it because it's like a bunch of meat followers it's done. So it's actually going to be pointless. We'll do that in the total. Right? So last but not least is going to be... to be um, all the total activity that's actually been done that's going to be the last one this is your sum no followers this is the kisses received um, this is the language that's actually been spoken um, total visits received as well um, basic total wants with the chance um, the chats they actually misspelled it they want the dates want the total by friends that's actually given and shown and if we actually compare all of these and shown what's really going on here all the visits that I actually received um, that's shown with all the mention names that's compared if we go down a lot by stack bars is going to have a hard time now we're going to Now, you're able to read it based with the stack bars to try and make it a little bit easier, which we could do. But it's best if you try to do it through like an interactive chart to see how they go. It depends on the how long of the bar, the more activity it basically is, right? So these are basically the representatives of that as well. So the bar graph is actually there. You could definitely try to do it to make it a little bit readable also um, and try to knock it out. Because again, it's about trying to fail so that we can basically try to learn together. So this is basically the total, total activity stack plot. Total activity. So basically, the boxes represent the A's as it gets higher. So that you know all the statistics that's actually there. Um, total activity by A's. Stack plot. And then we knock this out. And then we get one more down. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to see if we can try and get the box and work in there. So we're going to do the same thing here. It's total followers. Um, I'll do them separate. So they'd be a lot easier to see what goes on. So ladies and gentlemen, please bear with me one second. And now we knock this out. And then we're going to rename this total activity. Oh, crud. We got the bar plots as well. We knock that out. And we're all going to put this um, either through a story or by a dashboard. So that'll be all red. <laughs> now, the last one is going to be. Um, we want to get, um, this is all locals. I'm going to try and edit all that stuff out. One second. Let me rename this and put this in the back. All right. Rename you here. And this is also... all logo here this is what we want knocked out and then last but not least i want to try and hit the box and whiskers that's gonna be the last one get it through the dimensions and now the same thing here this in the worksheets 
as well. So we rename this as Lovo Total Activity by Gates Box and Whisker. Excuse me. Box and Whisker Plot. Boom. Now we got what we need. Now what we want to do is try to get a story in there. And in order to do a story, ladies and gentlemen, we could do um, the activity that's actually shown and the main activities that's there. You could show all of these graphs and create a dashboard, and that's how you build your story. But first, we want to get the worksheet. Um, we want to get a dashboard in first before we do. So now we're going to do all of these sheets that are actually shown. We got the total number of users by age that's actually done. If we're able to get the entire view and captions and everything, we got that down. Now we want the total percentage. We want to be very careful here. So we got one story. What I'll do. Percentage and mean activity by age or graph. But this guy, even though I see the mean activity that's actually done, you see the behaviors by age, you see all of these that are actually shown and the language is known. That's not really clear. So what I'm gonna do is the total number of users we know is actually done here we can definitely one second let's play around this is have some fun so from the dashboard here and we know what we want to do mean activity to activity got one dashboard we got the little bit that's going to be separate in the percentage by age and then the mean activity by age with there so we're going to put that down get that knocked out and these are the measure names that's actually shown now we want the mean activity to be placed below as well and use those things as a filter with the measure names that are actually shown below here so we see the comparisons that you see below and if we see everything that's there if we knock all that stuff out you have the measure names the mean visits received Got everything and all the information that's done by our dashboard and global percentage and mean activity by age. We're gonna name you. So global percentage and mean activity by age. Got that out of the way. Now we're gonna hit our story. So we're gonna start. I mean, in the totally definitely is a little bit of a rough draft. That's the first first that we have, but now we got the real um, ordeals. First, we're gonna deal with low vote total numbers by age. Um, we add the caption and deal with um, the low vote female. One second. Let me try to. Uh, one second. Let me go back out. And I'm going to do a part two to this to finish this whole thing off. Hot wire, what you call that? Shout out, it's the 
Do you see? All right, now, ladies, we just got right back. We got our first page of the story here on the activity that's going on with the graph. And now we're gonna put everything together. Now we have our worksheet on what really goes on with the percentages that's actually shown here. We we'll get this story out. And what's that's actually shown is this a low level percentage of mean activity. So we actually knocked this down as well. That's actually basically knocked down. And what we want to do, we want to get another story point to actually tell uh, what really goes on. We have to add to edit this guy. It looks like we don't. Let's get a new one, right? So we see the percentage by A's, everything done, and the mean activity done. Now we want to fit everything together. Now we want the Lovo total activity right and that's going to be our conclusion so we want to start off with the total activity by age first we knock that out and you see all the stuff that's actually shown here we want to fit the total activity stack plot on one end so we want to try and fit that guy there and last but not least I think we may have to do a boxing with supply. Let's go back and get one more um, dashboard in. Okay, so we're gonna do the total activity by bar plots. That's gonna be the last one that we have. And then we're gonna put the mean uh, total activity up on this end here. That's shown. And we're gonna put the total activity down bottom as well shown also and we are going to add legends as well if we can try to do that So we have the box and whisker plot that's shown here. And the way that it's set up, we'll do this. I'm gonna remove this and get it out the way. So it'll be a lot easier to actually do. Um, so what we have, we're gonna do this as, these are all the eights that you see up here. Box and whisker. So they have a color legend in here. They should be a legend. They have a low. They don't have legends when it comes to the box and whisker, which is unfortunate. So let's see if we try to move this and see the activity gone here. So what I'm gonna do is make sure we just do each and every plot and go through the story one by one. Um, this is our bar plot, okay, which we will put down here. That's one story. We knocked that out. We're going to get another story point. It's going to be the total activity by the box, um, by the stack plot, even though it's not clear enough. Or, let's see, box and whiskers is not even slow. So what we'll do is this we have our stack clock that's there which we know and then we'll try to get a box and whisker plot on the other side actually we're gonna do that we're gonna do it on the left side let's do it on the left side so that makes sense go here so that we'll be able to have all the data sets that's there we'll rename it as 
total activity box and whisker and stat. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that to the story. And boom, right there. Now we wanna try to make sure we copy this global total activity box and the whisker with that and therefore you'll be able to have a storyline on how the grass actually came together you want to add some text too you could definitely do that also and knock all of this out but the main theory and the main point that I want to discuss ladies and gentlemen is the methods that you want to use to make sure that all of these visualizations are clear and readable towards the general public so that you will be able to actually show this in public and actually school your local viewer your average viewer or someone who's naive or even a stakeholder um, basically on game on the information that she's given so that they'll be able to make their thorough business decisions accordingly given the information that's already have here and there will be more to come when it comes to api interest as well as you know the api results they will be also be coming as well when in future videos to come so please be on the lookout for that christian paul from the nerd chronicles will be signing out good night for my ladies that wanted to see him up close and personal Do you see?